What's up? Mark from Straight to You Tech, and I'm back here with another headphone review the Insignia Bluetooth over the ear headphones. Now, these come from Best Buy, and I know people don't like, probably don't even care about them that much because they're not a top brand like uh, Samsung or, you know, um, Audio Technician or anybody like that, you know. Uh, Jaybirds, any kind of headphone manufacturer that makes really good headphones, but these are for the people who want an expensive, an inexpensive type of uh, headphone that they can use anywhere, like at the office or just you know, just kind of laying around the house and doing whatever. So that's what I got them for, and I just want to do a little unboxing here, just to check out the quality of them and maybe do a mini sound test. So uh, let's go ahead and bust into these real quick. Now here's the box, real cheap right here, just real basic. You know, you can see through and everything. And why around the back here, let's go over some of the features. So it says you can pause this if you want, and you want to look at it, or you can just listen to me. All right. It says over the ear design uh, with comfortable foam ear pads. Okay. Rechargeable battery up to 10 hours of music playback, built in microphone to make phone calls. Uh, comes with a 3.5 millimeter, uh, 3 millimeter audio, you know, jack. So I guess you can use it when you're not using Bluetooth and stuff like that for stuff that doesn't use Bluetooth. Got a USB charging cable and a quick setup guide. I mean, who cares about that? And then you got it in Spanish over here. So, decent little box, you know. Let's go ahead and bust it open and see what's going on. All right, very sharp right here, so don't cut your damn fingers. This new one's going to have problems opening this damn thing. All right. By the way, the price on these thirty nine, you know, ninety nine. I don't know if that's a sale price or if that's just what they sell them for, but it doesn't matter. All right, we get to the box. Got a few things in it. Let's go ahead and shake those out. Okay, so you got your um, you know, your setup guides and everything, and instructions. Who cares about that? Got a micro USB right here micro USB charging cable 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here are the headphones right here so let's go ahead and try to take them out of here okay get rid of that I'll tell you right off the bat right here these feel pretty good they feel pretty good they're not gonna be you know hurting your ears that much I don't think you know it does got a bit of a uh, pressure though but that's just to keep the sound out I mean come on uh, they look like they're gonna hold up okay uh, the top pa padding right here seems all right it's a little it's a little shallow so if you're resting your head a little bit it's probably gonna hurt but heads vary all right they do fold up that's pretty good. Uh, it's got some, you know, buttons right here. Up, down for volume. Previous track, forward track, play and pause, and answer a phone call. Seem pretty good. I like them. Indicate uh, left and right on the sides right here. See how far they stretch out. Uh, no metal here, by the way. Let's just clear that up right now. No metal. Seems all plastic, so be careful. Like they stretch out pretty good. Should be able to fit my big head. <laughs> they look all right. They don't look that bad. The insignia. Insignia right here. It looks all right. I kind of I kind of like them. Can't wait to really get them, you know, hook them up to my phone and see what we can do as far as an uh, audio test. So get to that a little bit later, but here here are the jacks right here. So micro USB you know, input for charging, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port. There's your microphone for your phone calls. And here's a little LED right here. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. I'm assuming you turn them on by probably holding on to the play pause button right there. Okay. I don't know if you heard it, but it does have voice prompts. So that's pretty good. So it'll tell you what to do. So it's in pairing mode right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pair it with my phone. We'll do a little mini audio test and we'll see how they do. Okay, I'm back. And man, these these 
These these these are damn good for the price. These are good for the price. Can't go wrong. Thirty nine dollars well spent. And let me tell you about them. So I paired them up. Like I said, it's got voice prompts on them. So you hear everything it says. As soon as you turn it on by holding this button here, you know, it's going to say power on. And it's going to say pairing. Going to get your Bluetooth, uh, you know, red and blue uh, little cop light right there on the LED. Go ahead and pair it to your phone. It comes up as the uh, insignia, insignia something, but you'll see that name in there. Go ahead and pair it. Pair is very easy. Um, on Android, it's always asking, lately it's been doing this. I don't know if it's because of um, what Android version we're on, but it'll it'll always ask, do these headphones want to, um, do you want to share your contacts with them? And I don't understand that. But anyways, really good sound. And after I got them paired up, I listened to stuff on, you know, all the um, music players, Spotify, Google Play Music. I even got... Um, you know, the Apple one, you know, Apple music on my Android phone. And, you know, I just listened to some of that live stuff on there. All sounded very good. These got, man, they got very, very good bass and very good volume. Okay. This, this rivals some of that, um, some of that beat stuff out there. So if you're looking for a cheap version of beats, go ahead and go with these insignias right here. The Bluetooth over the ear headphones. Uh, here's a model number. It is NS-CAHBTOE01. That's the model number. So if you want to type that into Google or whatever and, you know, try to find them or you want to go to Best Buy the website, there you go. Um, I, I definitely like the audio out of them. All the controls work. Uh, even on Android phones that are, I think, uh, 7.1. Uh, nougat or on oreo you get the little battery indicator telling you how many how much battery life's left in them right on the screen right up there in your um you know your system bar um really that shows up it also controls the volume not in the headphones but actually on the phone as well so when you're tapping up right here and you want your audio to go up it's going to go up on your phone and not just in the headphones i kind of hate that that but that's my that's my pet peeve Anyways, uh, track back and forth worked right away. There's no lag or nothing like that going on. Playing pause. And I called the Soul, you know, barbecue restaurant up the street and talked to them for a little bit. And I was just asking them about their, uh, you know, their barbecue, if it's good or not. <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with this review, but that's my spot. But anyway, um, really good headphones. They feel good. It didn't hurt my head. Had them on for about... 10 15 minutes worked out really good i do like I, I like how they're built might be plastic but they felt real good see how this moves around like that that'll definitely go you know left to right up and down on your ear fit comfortable no problems i like them i suggest getting these go ahead go to best buy pick these up for 39 dollars. you won't be hating them uh, 10 hours of battery life, like I said before. I think it's all worth it. You know, what you going to do in 10 hours? You won't listen to these, you know, for 10 hours straight. Unless you're on a long trip or something. But go out and grab these. The Insignia Bluetooth over-to-ear headphones. Marked from Straight to Tech. And I'm out.